Hey guys, in this video, I want to break down exactly step by step what I think is the highest paying and simplest detail to perform in human history. You might remember this particular Lexus. It's been on my channel before because this is a maintenance client of mine. It's a maintenance client that I see once every three months, once every 90 days, and this is a relatively new maintenance client for me. So this is the second time that I'm seeing this car. Now, if you guys are starting in the auto detailing business and you want to see my top 10 tools and products that I suggest for you to start for under $500, then go below and grab the free guide in the YouTube description box that lays out all of those details totally free and lots of amazing information about exactly how to start with the right tools and products so you don't waste money on things that don't work. Now for the interior section that I'm detailing right now, that I'm going to be detailing for the major part of this detail, the only things that I'm using is a microfiber towel, a really thin kind of like a lesser, what would I say, bristled detailing brush that's totally dry, a white detailing brush that I'm going to use to agitate the chemical, and my Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted anywhere from 10 to 15 to 1. Now what I'm doing here, guys, very simply is showing you how simple a maintenance detail truly is. The first thing that you really need to observe here is how clean the car is already. The way I like to describe maintenance detailing is that this is truly detailing, like in the truest sense of the word. I'm not doing a bunch of grunt work, trying to clean off a bunch of stains and dirt and dust and all this sort of stuff. What I'm doing is keeping the car in top tier, top level condition and implementing the right tools and products to put the right level of protection on the vehicle that keeps it in this particular condition year round because I see this particular vehicle four times a year. What I'm doing here, as you'll notice, is I'm not implementing my steamer, though I do it like every now and again to get really uh, cracks and crevices, parts that are very difficult for me to get. What I'm doing is implementing nothing more than my microfiber towel, a couple detailing brushes to brush out the cracks and crevices, and my Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted about 12 to 1, somewhere maybe even closer to 15 to 1. And you see the level of detail that goes into something like this because this is where you get to be truly concerned about the details. And I think this is detailing in its purest form. The reason why I've chopped the video up the way I have is because while this looks like a crazy quick detail and a crazy simple detail and a crazy quick amount of time, that is not an exaggeration. I'm hoping this video will really contextualize for you just how fast these things happen. Once again, you can see as I'm detailing this door panel, all I'm doing is wiping down the surface, dusting out these tiny little cracks and crevices in the vents, and really where where the big part of the maintenance detailing comes in is the protection that's put on the vehicle afterwards. I use very, very high-end products on this vehicle. I use a, a combination of a lot of different protective products on this vehicle, as well as stripping it down with Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner. All I'm doing here is knocking off any surface dirt, which is extremely, extremely minimal, and any body oils. Now, after this particular door panel, I'm going to move to the door jams. This is another great example of the maintenance detailing idea idea where you really see the maintenance detail help you in your own business as the detailer. As I move to the door jams, all I'm going to be using is my Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner and my steamer and my microfiber towel. All I'm doing with the steamer is rinsing the all-purpose cleaner down the door jam because the door jam is in such great condition already. My steamer with a little bit of heat and a little bit of contact is going to rinse every bit of dirt and dust off of the door jam and I don't have to pull out a hose. I don't have to pull out a bunch of brushes to agitate anything. Once again, this is the truest form of detailing that I know of because I'm truly, truly focused only on the details. You can also see how I begin to eliminate entire detailing services that are generally a requirement for any other detail. This is a great example of this. Door jams are generally a requirement for any other detail. The truth is, I do not even have to go to quite the level that I'm going to in this video to clean these door jams. The reason that I'm doing it is simply because I tend to be OCD and I have a very detailed eye after detailing hundreds and potentially thousands 
thousands of cars over the last 10 years. And so because of that, I want to detail out this car and keep it in literal perfect condition, even the areas of the car that my customer cannot see. For example, the area that I'm blowing out right now with my steamer, that rubber gasketing that ends up waterproofing and weatherproofing the car interior when the, cl when the door is closed. My customer is never going to look in there. He's never going to see that area, but this is an area that I want to completely detail out as well as underneath here because I'm maintaining this car in its top, top condition. One of the things that's deeply helpful here is the fact that this is not my customer's daily driver. It's not his main vehicle. This works once again as the perfect maintenance detailing situation for obvious reasons. Now, the only place where I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive in this car, like I've said before, is in the trunk door jam. The trunk door jam on every vehicle, especially lighter colored vehicles, tends to be overly dirty, especially cars that are not detailed on a regular basis. But for this one, while yes, it is dirty relative to the rest of the car, this would be considered really clean relative to any other vehicle on planet Earth. Now, there are certain services that I'm going to cut out entirely from this detail. One of those services you could consider scrubbing and deep cleaning. There's no need to deep clean. In fact, if I were to deep clean on this particular customer's vehicle, I would damage the car over time uh, using chemicals and overly aggressive methods to scrub the fibers, to scrub the seats, all that sort of stuff. You're actually going to wear those surfaces down. And this is why I say the primary purpose of maintenance detail is protection. And so you're going to see that in this video after I get done cleaning while I do actually cut it a little short and I will show the full uh, video later on. After I get done cleaning with the Meguiar's APC, I am simply going to protect with an interior, basically wax, that puts an entire layer of protection across the entire interior. Another service that I'm completely eliminating and have completely eliminated from this detail is carpet shampooing. You can see that after I vacuumed out the back seat here, I'm actually putting down a fabric protectant. This is a fabric protectant that I put down every single time I see this vehicle. This is one of the secrets to success. While this is a more expensive product and it's a very high-end product, it will literally keep the fibers of the carpet in perfect condition as they are. The only thing I have to worry about with the carpets is going to be the driver's side. The driver's side is going to be shampooed at a very minor, minor level, but outside of that, it's going to be vacuuming like you see without even removing the mats because the mats need not be removed. And then I'm going to be putting the fabric protection down using my microfiber towel to clean up anywhere where I put where I sprayed the fabric protectant on a hard uh, vinyl rubber or leather piece. I'll just quickly wipe that up, clean that up very quickly. Fabric protection is one of those secret weapons in the detailing world that while yes is a bit more expensive when you want a really, really good option, it is going to keep the car in absolutely pristine condition. It's absolutely unbelievable. Now this is one of those situations where I say the time that you spend detailing begins to go down exponentially as you are able to eliminate some of these surfaces or some of these services like I described with the carpet shampoo. You can imagine in your own world how much quicker you would be able to detail if your only worry was vacuuming and protecting or minor cleaning and protecting as you see me doing here. You see these carpets in this perfect condition. While this is the only time I've seen the car, I'm going to be showing this car more and more on the channel and you will see what I mean where everything stays in just incredible condition. I am going to pull the driver's side floor mat out. I'm going to spray it with my Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. I'm going to scrub it with my microfiber towel and my steamer very, very, very quickly, and then I'm going to let it dry and protect it as well. You see I'm using this fabric protectant in every area of the car, including in between in those tiny little cracks and crevices between the seats so that those are protected as well. And lastly, after this floor mat, I'm simply going to protect and clean the windows and be done. This is a very, very powerful concept that needs to be talked about in the detailing world the power of maintenance detailing. If you guys want to see the products and tools that I used in this particular video doing this particular maintenance client and what I, I use for virtually every maintenance client, 
Go below in the YouTube description box, there'll be an organized list of links where you can see all of those products and tools that I use for a detail just like this so that you don't have to overdo it. And of course, grab my free guide below in the YouTube description box showing you guys exactly how to start your detailing business for under $500. And guys, as always, if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing channel here, but you love auto detailing business information like this, then go below the video, smash the subscribe button, and tap the bell icon so you get notified when I publish new videos, which by the way, is every other day. Guys, thank you so much for being involved and watching. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video.